Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Tech. In this video I'll show to you guys how you can create a fillable form on Microsoft Word. So in this case for example I have created this kind of form but I will walk you through all the steps that you need to do and to achieve this kind of form which is just a simple template but you can expand it and create as you like your form. So I'm gonna delete this one or I'm just gonna keep it down here and then I'm just gonna create from the scratch a new fillable form on Word application. So what we do as the beginning we have to go over insert and there over here we have to create a table and here you can add as many rows depending on kind of form that you want to create. I'm going to keep it simple I'm just going to create let's say four rows and two columns for it and then here I'm going to customize however I like it let's say here I'm going to make the questions and here you can make the answers. You can play around with this table to adjust it as you really want this form. So let's say I'm going to put here name and then surname and then let's say a question do you live in Germany and then let's say what's your profession. In this case as you can see I don't want this to be looking like this. What we do we select completely the row and then you can adjust this and the same thing about this one you select the row and then you can adjust the column as you want and then let's go over the fillable part how we want that important is to have on your tabs to have the developer option or developer tab if you don't have it what you have to do you have to go over file and over here you have to go over options and then from the options that you will see here you have to go over customize ribbon and there from this option over here which is regarding the main tabs you have to search for developer if it's not clicked then you just click it and then you press over ok and then the developer should show here good once you have your developer showing there then you'll see over here the controls so here are the possibilities or the kind of fillable formats that you can include on your form so let's skip the simple one which is text for example and here it is the text this is how it will be looking when you have your form. You can edit this fillable part by clicking over the fillable icon here and then you click over properties. And over here you can play around by creating different style, different format and whatsoever. I'm just gonna keep it simple. I'm just gonna leave it like this. Click here or tap here to enter text. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the surname. I'm just gonna create text. So this is the content control that I wanna add here. So just the text. If you wanna change the kind of text that it's written there, you just click with the right of the mouse over the control and then you can adjust, let's say, what kind of text will be shown here. For example, Times New Roman, and you can make this one, let's say 12 or whatsoever. You can play around with it. So basically you just click over the control with the right of the mouse and then you can adjust it however you like it. So the end user will be able only to write, let's say, Times New Roman text over here. Do you live in Germany? So over here, what we do, we have to enter yes and no. And for that, we're going to need to add this checkbox content control. So we put some spaces over here, yes, no, and then we come a little bit more near to yes. And then we add this checkbox, with, which is next to yes, and another checkbox, which will be next to no. And then the end user or the employee to whom you are going to send this has the possibility to click over yes or no. Then the next one is what is the profession? What is your profession, let's say so? And over here we need a combo box for example and here we see what kind of options we have Let's say. so here it is the one that I need is the combo box content control and over here it will show the combo box that I have just created but it's important to fill the fields of this combo box so what we do is we just select this one and then you'll see over the developer at the options here properties and then over here you have to come at this part where you have to fill the drop down list properties so what we do we click over add here and then we write different fields that the end user or the employee to whom you are going to send has to choose for example it or let's say hr or let's say management and then you press over ok once you have filled all the possible drop down list you click over OK in order to finish these possibilities. And then to test it, you just click over this small narrow here and you can see all the options that the user 
has the possibility to click or to choose. So basically those are the main controls that you may need to add on your form, but you can check there are also some others. Let's say if you have to enter a picture, you can add that picture content control over here. If you have to add a building block gallery content control, you can also add that possibility. Then once you are done with this, what you do, you have to protect, let's say, your form. So the user or the person that you're going to send this form not to be able to delete the whole form and to adjust however he likes. So we're going to protect, let's say, with editing restrictions, which means that the end user cannot write wherever he likes, but he has to write exactly on these parts of the form that we have customized right now. To protect that, normally it will show directly under the developer tab the restrict editing, but if not, then you have to go over review and then again, you'll have the possibility to click over restrict editing and then you will click at this option here, edit restrictions, and then you choose allow only this type of editing in the document. And then you choose here, fill in the forms. So basically you allow only fill in the forms and then the end user cannot do other things on your template or in your form. Then we just click yes, start enforcing protection. You can put a password, but you have to remember your password but you don't have in this case. I just leave it those blank and then you press over OK and then that's it. So then you can send this document to your employees and then they can fill it or to your users or whatsoever and then they can fill this template or this form. So you just save this and then you send it to whoever you like. So basically this is how you can create a fillable form on Word. That's all that I wanted to share with you guys today. I hope you like this and please leave on the comments below what do you think about this. Thanks a lot for watching. All the best.